the art of realizations. Once upon a time, there was a girl named Christina who lost her mother when she was born, and the only thing she had in her life was her loving father. Christina was a very talented girl who lived in the city. She enjoyed her life very much, but when Christina becomes a teenager, she has a lot of questions in her mind. As time has gone, Christina began to feel dissatisfied with her young life and yearned for something else because she wanted to attempt things she had never done in her entire life. She started to hate her father. She often believed that even though her father worked all day, he didn't worry so much about her. Days, weeks, and months passed, but her anger toward her dad didn't give her peace. Her only companion was her phone, and she spent all time playing and surfing the internet. She has some friends, but she doesn't care about them. One day, Christina asked her dad with so much hatred for herself. Why does it happen to me? Is it true that I am the reason for my mom's death? Christina has a lot of questions to ask, but that's the significant thing that always comes to her mind. Her dad answered her question. No, don't blame yourself for that, please. Don't hurt yourself. It's just that your mom chose you over herself. She wanted you to have the best life and experience the things in the world. She wants you to grow with so much love and compassion. Please appreciate it, Christina. She loves you, so love yourself as she does love you. After the confrontation, Christina realized everything. She hugs her dad tightly and asks for an apology. She said, I'm very sorry. I can't take all of this anymore because I'm very insecure with my friends. They have a mother and a father, unlike me. I only have you. I want to feel my mother's love, dad. Then her dad was crying because of what Christina told him and asked her, Christina, is my love for you not enough? Is there something I need to improve? Do I need to do something so that I can feel you and put you at ease? Then Christina was crying, looked at her dad in his eyes and said, Oh no, you don't have to change everything. I am the problem because I'm so selfish with what I feel. I didn't think about yours. You fill me with so much love that I deserve. And I'm sorry for being an insensitive and inconsiderate dad. From now on, as your daughter, I will give you more time and love that you deserve that. You are precious to me, and I will always mean it. Then Christina hugged her father again tightly. After several months, her birthday finally came, and her father surprised her with a car. Then Christina and her friends decided to go for a ride on the city. Her friends jumped with the music, but her mind was filled with with something else. She wasn't focused and her vision became dark and that everything happened so quickly. She woke up in a hospital bed with few patches. Her friends have minor injuries too. But what she knew later was something she did not expect. She hit an old woman and fortunately it crossed the rainbow. She had mixed emotions, suffered depressions and a lot of regrets. She went to a therapy and years later she recovered. She had a lot of realizations. She realized that life is full of ups and downs, but despite that, life must go on. She started talking about how her life was going to be. She told the orphans everything about herself and said, Life doesn't stop at difficult path. You only have to continue to walk until you reach the peak, celebrate, and be grateful for everything that happens in life. The orphanage people ask her, What's the status of your life now? Christina answered, Now, I'm creating a life full of love and dedication, which has helped me to gain more self-esteem and motivation for all the things I have experienced in my life. Many people were amazed as she began to bring out the best motivational and inspirational parts of herself. In the end, Christina also decided to volunteer as a motivational speaker and give support to every orphanage in town. 
she spread positivity and the children were delighted. She was in the crowd and said, Throughout my experience, I realized that a positive attitude towards others and various life events is part for the recipe for a happy life. People cannot control the events and their surroundings, but they can choose their attitudes which can shape their destiny to a large extent. While clapping, everyone was in tears. Indeed, Christina speak powerful words that people seek to change their life mindset.